Hi, this is Gary Rosenzweig. Do you ever get an email from a Windows user and it has a file attachment and you've got no idea what to do with it? You can't seem to open it up with anything. Maybe it's got extensions like PPT or DOC or even RAR. Well, let's go take a look at some of those files and what you can do with them on a Mac on this episode of MacMos Now. One type of file I may come across is a .ppt or sometimes .pps file. These are PowerPoint files. PowerPoint is some software from Microsoft that is used to make presentations. It comes with Office. And anybody on Windows can play these back because Windows comes with some PowerPoint playback software. You can't build PowerPoint presentations with it but you can play it back. So Windows users are used to sending PowerPoint things back and forth to each other. Mac users of course can't play PowerPoint files unless you have some software. You can get software like Microsoft Office which costs a lot of money and you can play back and make PowerPoint presentations. You can also use Keynote which comes with iWork which is a lot cheaper than Microsoft Office. There are some free solutions however. You can use the free Office packages. NeoOffice and OpenOffice both can open up PowerPoint presentations. Another way to do it is you can actually go ahead and upload a PPT to Google Docs if you really wanted to and you didn't want to add any extra software. Still a third way to do it is to get your friend who sent you the file to actually export it in some other format. Most modern versions of PowerPoint for instance can export as PDF files. You can open a PDF file so have them make a PDF file for you and send it to you. Probably the most common file you may get is a .doc, .doc file. These are Microsoft Word files. Now Microsoft Word of course is a very popular word processing program. It still doesn't come with Windows. You have to get Office. But a lot of people like to send doc files around. If you work in an office, chances are they put Microsoft Word on your machine so you think it's okay and everybody has one. News is better here for Mac users because TextEdit, the free little editing program that comes with every Mac, can actually view and edit Microsoft Word files. But sometimes some of the more advanced features may get lost. You can get Microsoft Office and edit the Word files using Microsoft Word on your Mac. You can also use those programs I mentioned before, NeoOffice and OpenOffice, and also use Google Docs. Another less common file type is XLS or Excel Spreadsheet File. Now you can do the same thing here and use some of this Office software. You can get Excel for Mac. Or you can use Numbers, part of iWork, to open it up. Even Google Docs will open these up as well. Now you may also get a .exe file. Now this stands for an executable or as us Mac users like to call them applications. Now there's really nothing you can do with it. You need Windows to run a Windows application. So you probably just want to tell the person that sent it to you, hey, I've got a Mac, what are you sending me? Or chances are if you get a .exe it's not really a friend that's sending it to you but a piece of spam and you're lucky to have a Mac and not be able to run it because it's probably going to give you a virus. But if you do need to run an executable program there are ways to do it on your Mac. One of course is to install Windows and use Boot Camp and you can run all the Windows software you want as long as you install Windows using Boot Camp. You can also use the software Parallels or VMware to install Windows and run it virtually so you can run Windows software inside your Mac. Now here's a strange one. Sometimes you might get an RAR file. Now what an RAR file is, is a certain type of compression. It's popular among programmers and artists so you may not ever see one. But if you get one of these you're going to need a way to decompress it and find out what's inside. One way is to use Stuffit Expander. However, there are some people that complain that certain types of RAR files won't be opened by Stuffit Expander. There's another thing called UnRARX. There's the URL. And you can use that to open up what's inside one of those. It's also good to note that Stuffit Expander is a really good utility for expanding just about anything. So if you get some other type of file compression thing that you can't seem to open, if you go to stuffit-expander.com it takes you to the Smith Micro site, you can download the free Stuffit Expander that may help you out. Okay, here's something you may have experienced. You get an email from somebody and instead of the attachment they claim it has, it has something called windmail.dat. What is this? Well, what windmail.dat is, is it's something from Microsoft Exchange Server. It's a wrapper that takes whatever attachment they thought they were giving you, wraps it up in something that you, as a Mac user, or more accurately as a non-Exchange user, can't decipher. So the file's there, the data is there, but you can't get to it. And it's very frustrating because not only can't you get to it, but the person who sent it to you has no idea how it got to be a windmail.dat file. But there is hope. There's a program out there called Enough to Enough. See, TNEF is the file type that a windmail.dat is. And this is a Mac program 
that will allow you to decompress the windmill.dat and get the file out of there. If you've got a question about something with your Mac or your iPod or your iPhone or even your Apple TV, let me know. I'll be answering some questions on the show soon. You can email me at questions at macmost.com. Until next time, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now.